Once upon a midnight dreary, as I tossed, bored and weary, cursing the insomnia that did entreat upon my night's repose, as I lay there, irate and itching, suddenly there came a twitching, as if some apparition was licking at my restless toes. "'Tis some night spirit," quoth I, only this and nothing more. But once again, as I turned asunder, hoping vainly to catch some slumber, the twitching did manifest again and shook the mattress to the core. My hand reached out in trembling fear and fell upon a silky ear. I cried, Alas, a basset hath entered through my chamber's door. Long nails did tear the sheets in twain, as thumping tail did beat in vain in hopes of gaining from my hand the promise of a belly rub. Stubby legs did push against my side, as Bassett spread himself out wide, master of the entire mattress he himself did deem to dub. Not content to lie in slumber, the hairy hound began to lumber, stalking to and fro across the vast expanse of counterpane, lying down and getting up, the restless, roving, slobbering pup did pace and stride in endless movement as the night began to wane. Desiring cuddles, the dog in haste lay drooling head upon my waist, as heavy frame across my own did overheat my feverish hide. Groaning, grunting, the wiggling cur, with feet as rough as any burr, rake scratchy pads and pointy nails direct against my other side. Fie on you, hound, lie down, I said, to squirming beast upon my bed. My hand reached out for downy pillow, vainly hoping at last to sleep. Alas, the sound of thumping tail told me my search was not availed, for curled up upon my pillow was a basset head and furry heap. The night did pass, and twilight rose. Wide awake I had found no repose thanks to the scratching, licking dog that had joined me in my rest. With red-rimmed eyes I saw the dawn come peeking, creeping over my lawn, as I cursed the hellish hound who had joined me at his bequest. No more, you cur, will you share my bed, I said to the hound in voice most dread. A kennel best befits a dog when nighttime comes and sleep is nigh. Soulful eyes did peer in mine, as sounded loud a pitiful whine, and Bassett refused to leave the place where his stubby limbs and ears did lie. And still today, in sprawling sleep, the Bassett on my bed did keep, himself in comfort, rest, and ease, full loath to leave my chamber door. Upon the couch in awkward pose, I seek some space to stretch my toes. Shall I reclaim my bed again? Quoth the Bassett. Nevermore.